Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of The Witcher 3. So, we've just had an evening with Kira, and she put us to spell with a sleep, uh, sleep spell, and run off to the laboratory to steal stuff, which I'm sorry, was, which was pretty obvious what she was trying to do. She wants stuff she can sell to make money to get out of living in the forest. six sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. Use the word brought sour boy. Curse is your fault as much as mine. What are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the all god, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. Tell me more about the All God. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. Suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then. Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm hmm. Plain to see that. Every village. So, has what's one. wrong with your offerings? They needn't mark us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elves. Can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and locusts or some such will devour the harvest. I could have a chat with this coil and coil. I could God. intercede on your behalf with this all God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand before the altar and cry out, All oh God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Foreigner. Alright. Oh, All oh God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drift. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. The voice came from underground. Let's see. Hmm. Wine. But more like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. Nahal in his eye could follow us. use it. Interesting. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected they all got to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. 
And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. Want to settle for curves and whey? Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Been here long? Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames let through the crack. Lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke. And suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and the little A, then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return? I talk, at least. Alright, so... I can... tell him to settle for humble offerings or that. Listen here, lard ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. <laughs> reformers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Gonna miss a chance to loot from a god. <laughs> Even if it is only just an all god. Look at that. Nice collection. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you! I told you the old god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, do I want to des destroy their religion? I guess I do. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. Oh. That was wrong. I'm going to walk down there and get killed. Continue to the signpost. It keeps putting us back on the default mission, which is way too far ahead of our level. Dusty Skull. Continue the story of Kira. She's trying to steal the secrets of this tower. What Kira's doing? A light. Top floor of the tower. So, found what 
you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What's with the nose? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. Can't let you do that. Kira, I can't... I won't let you do this. We can't allow this research to fall into the wrong hands, and Radovids are as wrong as they come. I'll not give you these notes. I'll not give you anything. Please, don't make me. Shut up and draw your sword. Really? I think I'd kill her. Didn't have to end this way. What do I get? Necromancy, the forbidden magic. Wolf hide, iron ore. We're at a strange outpost here. I want to make a different decision. That was a major decision. I want to make a different one. I want to let it go. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Bellum's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. So we have a new load screen, turns out. No, I didn't want to load after that point. Wanted to load before that point. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. I suspect that she's playing a trick on me at Delusion. Anyways. And sent her on her way to Novigrad. And she's not really dead, but... You'll regret that! Really? You'll regret that! Let's see, can we get a little bit further behind? Here we go. Wounded and tired, Siri. All of these loads, <laughs> quick saves, I mean... I've complained about it not saving enough. Now it's doing the opposite. Then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Here we go. Skip. So, found what you were looking. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. 
All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. You're a vile, two-faced, four-tongued viper. Wow. <laughs> ho, ho. And I always took you for a gentleman. All jokes aside, what are you gonna do with those notes? Do you really believe you can call me names and then revert to polite conversation just like that? Get out of my sight. Oops. Before I give in to my urge to teach you some manners. So, wow, it's taken me down a whole different path, so... I'll go as soon as you hand me those notes. Then you shall stay here forever. Really? Wow! We are learning. Let's see. The, the, what you say really does matter on this. Some peasants found her. Uh, so you can't it seems like the gold ones at least matter and sent her on her way to Novigrad and so I got into a fight even quicker that time a light top floor of the tower so yeah what's with the notes what do you want with those papers? Why? I aim to use them to continue in... Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motive. No, strictly selfish. The mighty would pay willingly for some... Alright, so I'm gonna say Radovid's not interested in medicine. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir, curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. Alright. Thousands may die, it'll be on your head. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Go to Karen Moore. Got another option. Go to Care Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but... We do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. I don't really want her to stop if she was going to look for the cure. 
so I'm just gonna say see you in Karenmore. So, see you at Karenmore, Anne? Beds free of bed bugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. That is a much better outtake. Now, of course, she had some cool stuff on her, but I can't walk through that myself. I could have gotten that stuff. What does it take here? It says take when I zoom in. Take what? Talk. So, I did not have any foreknowledge of that or anything. I don't want people to, to think that I knew that there was some way to keep her alive and get her to go to care more as I'll just keep on asking and caring more. Um, I, it just did not strike me as correct that I was supposed to kill a main character of such importance. It just didn't ring like that was the true thing. And in doing this quest, we have learned something rather strange that I did not have any knowledge of. Uh, if we can get people to go to Karen more, let's look at the map. If we can get them here, main characters here. I have speculated this is going to be the location of the final battle. So it is only furthering that speculation that I have just made the final batter, battle and final outcome of the battle better by having an ally there. So I'm going to try when I have the opportunity to push as many people to care and more if I can. We're gonna return to the bog in a moment, but first I want to go to the western gate here and see if I can find the daughter of the Bloody Baron and see if I can convince to talk to her. like some kind of assassin's guild. Merchant. Hey! How much? Go doesn't on, even don't want to sell anything to me. Best ways, this side of the this merchant what can I do sell to me? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. I could play some Gwent. Let me see. Might pick something. Let's see. What's he got to sell? Paint. Item to complete a quest. Really? Well, I'll buy it since it's needed to complete a quest.
that is probably a real silly thing to buy. Let's play around the Gwent. Wanted to play cards. Doubt we need to wait till tomorrow. Alright. I took out my five spy since he shows up on the other side's team and put him in the um, put in a four spy so that should be to my advantage since they end up on the other side we've almost got enough of a deck we're getting there for the Nilf Guardian Empire we need eight more yep eight with a long S So, range combat and close combat. We have one close combat. And then lots of range combat. So, let's get rid of the weather for range combat. That works well. And then, let's see, close combat. Get rid of that. So standard strategy. He plays a spy so he can draw what? What is it? Spy plays on your opponents so you can draw two cards. Alright. Well if he's gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. I needed to do that anyways. Gonna play that. I'm gonna play this. Alright. Let's play some ranged here. Let's go and play a four in the ranged. play another four. He's still two ahead on cards. So do I want to continue or do I want to stop? Let's see. continue. Make him play one more card. He plays Impenetrable Fog, which helps him. I'll, let's see. I'll play Clear Weather right now. I'm trying to burn his cards. That's the strategy. He might win this round, but the hope is that he would have wasted more cards than it would have been worth. I'm passing now, since he's played a lot. question is how many cards his last five cards will they work Let's place this one Which of course we bring back the K 
catapult this ballista. Alright, so, so far, he's not shown that he's gonna win. We play the horn to double their attack. He's got two more cards. Let's see. Impenetrable fog, might as well do it. The opponent passes. Well, I pass. And I win. Great. Another victory of Gwent and a lousy 20 crowns and a griffin assumedly monster deck everyone to me Fast to me egg. there we go i don't like the fade out there that just makes no sense fade out and fade back in stay out of my way Red my side. goodness is locked. Maybe we'll have to talk to the witch hunters. Imagine I'm gonna have to protect several witches in Canmore. However I wanna mispronounce it. Can't get that book. You can kick it. I think a lot of these things just should be permanently tied. I, I don't see a point of them having physics applied to them. like a door to door attempt to search. Some probably get some pretty expensive items. But yeah I could do a attempted search but I don't think she's gonna be anywhere. Let's see. Nicholas Friedman. Mm -hmm. Witcher contract. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plow in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. Still negotiating? Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian army's no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. Interesting. Well, if that is true, let's ask for a hundred I know guildsmen ought to be decently rewarded, but there you've gone too far. I don't have that coin. Alright, you don't want to give me a hundred. Let's see. Let's see what you say at 55. I see you've taken a more reasonable tack. 
We're finally getting somewhere, but it's still too much. Alright. Let's go down to 30. Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Any witnesses? Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. I'd like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Okay. So we got a new contract. Which quest was that, though? Uh, Oxenford drunk. Levels 26. Well, we made some progress on the contract we're not going to make any progress on for a very long time. I'm not seeing the girl around. Let's wander back this direction and see if we can find the witch hunters. Perhaps convince them. A witch hunter. Leave me be. Hey, taking a peek at my wares, yeah. Is there, the, is there a church or anything around that might? Best wares this side of the Ponta. Several merchants that don't want to sell anything to me. Interesting. I think we're just gonna have to continue the story. I don't think we're going to be able to find. It's done. It's done. It's find the daughter. I think she's already gone. Maybe we'll bump into them later on. What is this? A boy. This boy's willing to talk. Leave me be. I guess he isn't. I thought he was. Am I walking outside of the city? And then here's an armorer. Have we talked to this armorer? I don't think we have. Ah, a customer. This may be a two Gwent game. See what he can craft. Will you craft something for me? What can he craft? He is a blacksmith. We haven't crafted a weapon in a while. So on the right, you see the minuses are in red, the pluses are in green. So we only need to really concern ourselves with ones that have pretty overwhelmingly all green things unless we're just going to try and sell things. So I could get this Griffin Steel Sword. Uh requires level seven. This would require level twenty five and it's missing a component. So Griffin Steel Sword's the only one that really makes any sense. It gets more bonus experience though, so I've got to craft that. You picked up the first item of an elite witcher gear. Such items can be upgraded by taking to craftsmen and providing the appropriate diagram. So hang on to them, even if you find something better. Interesting. So I need to remember that. What else might he be worth crafting right now? Making things into ingots doesn't make any sense.
but what we want to look for here is which one can I make that does the most amount of damage so I can sell it. Uh, having a good weapon, I mean, it looks like the Griffin Steel Sword is the next one I can make again. I'll just make another one. And then 74 here, 83 here. And with that, I've used all my resources, so I could only, s let's see, let's go into the shop and see if we can buy something. No, there's not a lot over here to buy, but there's some of these. Manuscript for Moon Dust can't afford it. For Devil's Puffball, can't afford it. Do it yourself, care for your sword soldier. I can't afford it. Some of these weapons are probably better than what I have. Yeah, they are. Oh. We're getting into the big time now when weapons actually might be useful. All kinds of bolts. Bolt with bait. That's a new one. Uh, blunt crossbow bolts, broadhead bolt, precision bolt, blunt crossbow bolt again. Exploding bolts, tracking bo bolts. Interesting. Farewell. So we go to our inventory. We have the Griffin Steel Sword, which is way better because it gives us experience. And in it, I can put a rune stone for uh, let's see, do I have a good rune stone or just a bad one? I have this one, so I'll stick it in there. These I need to just sell. This is a worse crossbow thing. This is worse. This is the same. And that is worse. Do it yourself. We need to sell that. Got some collectibles. Got the paint, which is needed to complete a quest somewhere. I don't think we have that quest yet. Ah. So you're getting me the show me getting the see me shop. Even though I try not to show it. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. And sell this. And we are at 305. For crafting a bomb that explodes on contact. But let's see. Do I want moon dust or devil's puffball? Let's see. Can I craft those things already? Is the question, or would I be wasting my money? could repair some things for some small amount of repair all would just take 18 so let's do it uh, I need to sell let's see that's dismantle oh so he can't sell it or can we these sell for 44 I'll sell those get another decent amount of gold off that. Can't sell books to at least him. He has no use for books. And these sell for just six. Hmm. And yet I can't craft bombs. So I need to go I'm gonna have to go back out. 
and check. I have some of these books that could turn be turned into books. I have some of these brought pages that could be turned into other things. I'm a little afraid to get rid of these things. In fact, I'm very afraid to get rid of them. But I have no problem dismantling hides. You have the platter that turns into timber. You have the hides that turn into cured leather or and fur scraps. Uh, rabbit pelt. And see how it kind of consolidates everything for a lot of these items that are just junk in every sense of the way word but then there are definitely some other things that could be dismantled and I wouldn't recommend dismantling them it doesn't seem like the right move right. farewell wrong button alchemy to make what? I don't have the devil's puffball or the other things so I will have to pick ah, a customer show his wares one show last me. time I will buy The Devil's Pup Ball. And then let's play a game of Gwent. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? <sighs> Start the game, we don't need to check. We got one card last victory. Well, let's see, I have two of those. Two close combats. And three range combat. So do I want to get rid of the two range, which would equal 11? Well, this which is 10. Let's get rid of these two. Alright, that works real, rather well. He's playing, I don't know, Monsters deck. This is going to be interesting. Monsters deck mostly have muster. Right. Scorch. Actually, that's gonna work well then. We'll play this and bring it back. Muster, I believe, cards, so there's several more. Normally I would lose the first hand here, but I'm actually gonna win. Well, at least I should. This monster deck is a nightmare deck. And so he's at 49. If he had a horn, then he'll still get up to 91. He got up to 87. Uh, there's nothing more to be played here. Let's see. That's impenetrable fog, right? If I pass, he's gonna do nothing. So pretty much have to lose the first hand with the monster deck. Now I have to win the next two hands. He's got three cards. 
he passes. Interesting. Since he passes, I play one card, and then I pass, and I win. He's saving everything for the third, and... So, what are his last three cards is the question. The crone. Brings about the other crowns. Alright. Clear weather is the last card they play. And he's passed. Double that for 36, and I win! crowns and the dwarven squash and do I have the ingredients to make a new bomb let's see the devil's puff ball I need saltpeter which I gotta figure out where I can find saltpeter so I don't ah, have to buy it for people What have we been doing this episode? Let's see, we loaded and reloaded the fight with uh, Kira several times. And then we ran over here, so we still got some time, I feel like. Let's... We're going to Downs Warren. Starting the secondary quest, return to the bog. See how well this turns out. Go back to the map to see how far away it is. My lord. A beauty? What the devil do you mean? The great mare. The horse feet. The folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip Oops. to bring him in line, because my lord, tis what they they said too about the mare, meaning that is the forest's dark ghost. Who claims so? The the w w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s -s Some lass was leading them. Ask it after her mother. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. Hmm. Gotta prepare. Prepare now? Uh, will you shine your boots or trim your nails? Ah, do what you will. I shall take my men and go. Meet you at the Crone's village. With the swamp to cross and I'll curse it. Ah, uh, so. Feels like I made a mistake. Not killing the uh Should I just run there? Or should I fast travel? Let's just run there. It's not that far. But I can't help but think I made a huge mistake Flat not killing the monster in the forest. Fox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns. Fuck me. What will these high seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. <laughs> right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. 
good as gold. These five guys in the band are all gonna be dead. Maybe when I get there, I'll tell the crones I brought them there as a offering. Uh -huh. but I'll betray the Baron, why not? Too much hooch turns into that. So next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better up to put it down yourself. How is that how you create water tags? You just get them drunk and assumably they drown in the river. What a crazy world. I really don't want to get the wife back to this. Maybe I can get them all to go to Karen more. friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her! Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. 
Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! <laughs> How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! weird the hair model didn't load in don't Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Wolves? That didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna fight them with? Cursed oil? I, I think they would be cursed. Yeah, they don't have the best of oils. Now be the time to meditate. Just fall on the ground. <laughs> <laughs>
Mountains. I think if we go in the beast area and read about fiends, we might see some strategy. What was that? Wolves. Beast area. Cursed ones. Dracons. Necrophages. Relics, crows, godlings, sylvans, cruel, greedy, and treacherous. Not vampires, specters. It's like a specter. Looking for fiends. Where would they be? Hybrids. Elementa. Hounds of the Wild Hunt. Stalks, bears. I could have sworn I read a book about fiends. And I had in thing here. <sighs> Apparently I don't. Let's see, what can we do? Select an oil against a beast. Beast oil. It didn't sound like this. Because it wasn't. Let's see. We have an enhanced dancing star. Wait for these guys to pop this. These guys aren't really helping. I'm ending up killing all the monsters. That is part of the story of the Witcher. Is the Witcher are supposed to be so much more powerful than only the monsters. A fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. We know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Calm down. Easy. Shouting won't help. Calm down. 
simple for you to say. How can I? That's my mother, understand? He's on our side. Let him think. Witcher. Do you know what is wrong with the woman? She's been cursed. Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Cranes must have cursed her. Yeah. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. How many bodies can I loot? What is that fiend? Yeah, I want all of that. It's also past time that I meditate for an hour. Don't mind me while I'm trying to go. Yeah, that guy died. Alright, so... Seems like one of them could die. Maybe two. Time to meditate. And so the question is... If I go and find Johnny... Am I... Going to... Is there another ten minutes in this? Um... In this scrum before I lose my patience. Quest or is there another 30 minutes in this quest? Let's go talk to Johnny and then we'll call it the end of this episode. Uh, I don't want to deal with dramas. Definitely don't want to deal with water. <coughs> Looks like I'm going to have to though. I think the bombs sort of helped. It's like both of them are bad guys. It really seems like both Johnny. the crones and the the tree was bad guys. Johnny should have probably just killed them both. Didn't think of that. Not Maybe that here. was the choice. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. I did not consider that. And it could have been very much a valid thought that fresh footprints Johnny ran through here fleeing I something work down the way down the path to uh, kill both the tree and the crones but maybe I did the right thing what who says I have to always spare the lives of humans and kill monsters I guess most people would say that, but it could be the situation that sometimes some humans should take a backseat to a monster's happiness in life. This all stops right here. Back here. Johnny, wake up. Ma? Who? Uh, oh, Witcher! You frightened me. I thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. We would have been the doldrums out here without them. She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. 
Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why'd the Weavess need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. What's beyond the door? Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. No, you do look like the inquisitive type though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged him to spare Gran. Brewess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the Wispess says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. What now? You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do. Well, I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide. And I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Okay. So. Let's wrap up this episode. As I wander back to that area. As always, I have to like, share, subscribe. Comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos, all that helps me out with YouTube. If you want to support me, click on my name right though. on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel, and if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media site, Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house, so the door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. And that is why you don't run from point to point in a game while you're wrapping up, because you'll trigger another dialogue scene. Anyways, like I was saying, if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media site, I have links down below to them. Click on them, friend, follow, whatever service it is. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.